Taurus. Why is like my vision distorted or something? That's weird. Taurus. Taurus. This is in, in source energy. Okay. So, spirit, let's get some clear, concise messages for my, for my sources, okay? Sources and love. We're going to do source and love from the 26th to the 5th. So, please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome back to my channel or hello if this is your first time here. Um, I'm Chrissy the Healer. <laughs> let's get into it. Please give me these nice messages from my tortoise. Taurus, come out and play. Taurus, spirit, can I have quick and nice messages for my source and love? Taurus, and love. Let's spirit, let's take this to the general. Um, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what does not. Okay. It's not gonna resonate for everybody, it's a billion people in the world. Okay. So don't get mad at me if you don't make me with you. But it's the thing. So anyway, let's do it. Source and love for the 26th to the fifth. Source and love for the 26th to the fifth. Source and love for the 26th to the fifth. Source and love for the 26th to the fifth. Source and love for the 26th to the fifth. Source and love for the 26th to the fifth. Source and love. Source and love. Source and love. For the 26th to the fifth. Source and love. The 26th to the fifth. One more. Fashion. Fashion. Mm -hmm. Source and love. Hey, y'all. Source and love. The 26th through the 5th. Source and love. This is the This is energy. Energy flows. If you're watching it, it's probably for you. Source and love 26 to the Source and love. What do you mean? Can I read your cards? Horse and love. Horse and love. Horse and love. I feel like this has to do with you like being able to understand people or whoever this is. But it feels like people to me like this is you learning um that everybody don't move how you move. Everybody don't have to like what you like, you know. And you can just because you don't do the same thing as somebody else or y'all can have different inter interests um y'all can still be compatible in that way you know like that it feels like that to me. because like so i'm like this is you like you're probably like getting out or starting to be around different groups or different types of people and or you may have been dealing with somebody who does not your usual type you know they can be a different heritage or just come from a different you know background so this could be having you feeling like weird about things because it's not what you're used to you know what i'm saying but like spirit says it's okay you get what i'm saying because just think about what you was dealing with before like you're normal like that wasn't it so don't be um afraid to try something new okay so you might not think it's your fear, but it is your fear. You're scared. You're scared. And Spirit said, luck is on your side. So I feel like this is for the better. This is going to be good for you. 
this is something good for you. You being different, being around something different, or like being around this different energy or this different person because this person, their their perception and their outlook on life is different because they were brought up different. You know what I'm saying? They um, they know different places to go. So so like even say so I'm from DC, right? So like. You may think you've been already in D.C., but, like, no. Like, say if this is an Indian guy that I'm dating and he starts taking me to these underground artsy spots or, like, these whatever, right? So, they're going to show you life in, from their perspective. You get what I'm saying? So, Spirit says, be open to it because this could, this could potentially be your soulmate. Yeah, Yeah, so Spirit says, like, you don't have to, like, rush into it or, like, force it. Don't force it, right? But give it a chance. You gave everything else a chance. You gave everything else a chance, right, Taurus? So let's get into it. Spirit, can I have clear, concise messages for Taurus and love? I'm going to take that. Clear, concise messages for Taurus and love. Clear, concise messages for Taurus and love. Clear concise messages for Taurus and love because like what you were doing before it wasn't really feeding your soul. You need something that's gonna feed your soul. You need someone who's gonna feed your soul. You know, like like forget looks, right? Forget the looks. Not saying they can't look good, but like we need something that's gonna feed our soul, okay? We need someone that's going to empower us. I want to take this. Passion. Yeah, and there's two passion cards here. Um, This could be somebody. Y'all might have grade six. <laughs> I don't know. But, or it can just be like, um, y'all have a really nice connection, you know? Or y'all will have a nice connection. Or like, y'all like really enjoy each other's time but this is somebody that you're different that you're not used to you know what i'm saying so spirit is trying to show you but you need to open your eyes and be able to see because spirit is trying to end your old ways and you know like all the hurt and stuff that you'd have been through right like that cycle is over like let's do something new let's step into this new energy right because you always say, oh, you're tired of these people, tired of these type of girls, tired of these type of guys, and this, that, and the third. And when they send people like this your way, like people that's different, I believe that you're ready to, um, you like overthinking it. Like, I feel like you're ready for it, but just like, don't try to friend zone them just because they don't look how you used to them looking, you know? That's how it feels to me, okay? But let's get into it. Come on, Taurus. Let's clarify that. Hmm, let's, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, this person is funny. I'm keep doing this. This person is going to pour into you instead of taking. They're going to pull into you. I'm gonna read these cards over here. They fell on the floor, but they all flipped up. <laughs> so, um, this is going to come. It's definitely a new cycle. So, and I, um, not only a new cycle, new journey, but I feel like this is a new. This is something new, different than what you're used to. I feel like this is going to bring you abundance um, and fulfillment overall. You get what I'm saying? Um, and it's a boss. This is this person is going to boss you up, or they may be a boss. They might own their own business or something like that. But this is a more of it's a it's a very empowering energy. It's very empowering, and I like it for you guys. Y'all might see birds or something. I feel like you're overthinking it. You don't need to overthink it. Don't overthink it, okay? Because you're going to let your own thoughts ruin this. I don't want you to do that. Because what you're going to do, you have to watch how you're speaking over this thing, okay? Okay. I want you to watch how you're speaking over this situation or even your thought process because you're going to kill something before you even start, okay? So, Spirit say make a wish, okay? So, if this is what you want, let's make a wish. If you see 10, 10 on the clock, make a wish. I 
I feel like this situation is gonna be good for you, but um, you're gonna you're your own worst enemy in this. So ask yourself right now, like, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this, Taurus? Okay, because look out for it because it's probably already here or it's coming towards you. Okay, and this could be your love of a lifetime. And you don't want to scare them off or run them off or push them away, whether you realize it or not, because it's something that you're not used to. Okay, Taurus? So, I mean, congratulations. Because I feel like this is spirit saying you're leveling up, right? And you're starting to kind of get it. You yeah, I say kind of get it. But luck is on your side. Remember I said make a wish. Uh, if y'all see 10 to 10, y'all see our angel numbers. Hey, spirit for what y'all want. Make a wish, okay? Um, um Yeah. And somebody might be pregnant or having a baby. Or y'all might get with this person. Y'all might have a child together. But that's the end of my messages for you guys, Taurus. Um, congratulations. And don't run away from this because it's not something that you're used to. Okay? Like, think about what you've been used to and how that's worked out for you. You know? So let's try something different. All right?